Now that you've created your nutrient solutions, it's time to start adding them to your newly germinated seedlings. The reason that you've created different strengths of nutrient feed solutions is due to the basic maturity of your plant. You want to bring them along slowly and feed them with only the smallest amounts of nutrients possible based on their stages of growth. Think of your plant as you would a baby. You wouldn't feed your baby food that was designed for an adult, would you? As your plant grows and matures, you will be slowly increasing its nutrient level. So after your seeds have germinated, you will be watering your seedlings with the 196th feed for 10 days. Take a look at this chart. On the 11th day, you will then switch to the 148th feed. You will continue to use the 148th feed until your plants have grown to at least five inches and developed root growth that has reached the bottom of the cup. When they have done both of these, it will be time to remove your plant from the germination cups and transplant them into the sphagnum bed in the liner of the phototron. You will only continue to use this 148th feed for an additional 10 days after you have transplanted your plants into the sphagnum bed. We'll cover the instructions on how to transplant in the next step. After the 10th day of transplant, you will then be using the 116th feed to water your plants until completion. Before you get your plants ready for transplant, it is very important that you periodically remove weak-looking seedlings. Within 10 days after seed germination, you should remove all seedlings from each germination cup except the single best plant. The best plants to grow in your phototron are those with the shortest internodal lengths. The internodal length is the distance between the leaf sets. The plant with the shortest stem between leaf sets is the plant you want to grow because it will have the greatest number of budding sites. Remember, only one seedling should remain in each of the six germination cups on day 10. 